Alright guys, uh, I'm going to be giving my opinions and stuff about what's been going on in the world, mainly the U.S., and um, why, um, kind of my opinions, what my thoughts are about all the gun control or the uh, the possible gun bans that people are pushing for, like like our president. To me, those people are very un they're very un uninformed about what's going on in this world. Because if you go talk to most gun owners or people who know stuff about guns, we don't call these guns assault weapons. They're just rifles. There are three types of guns. Handguns slash pistols, there are shotguns, and then there's rifles. Now, rifles can come in bolt action or semi-auto. But any gun can do damage, no matter what it's called, what area, or what kind of gun it is. It can cause damage, it can go kill someone if you're good enough with it. I mean, I can go buy... See. They want to take away assault weapons. That's made, That's basically any rifle that's semi-auto. But I guarantee you they will not take away a normal bolt-action rifle. Okay, I'm going to go off for about 30 seconds here about uh, this category. So I'll, I'll be back to the assault weapons ban and all that crap later. But um, anyways, if I wanted to go kill, kill someone when these guns are banned, I could still do it. I can go grab a humongous $6,000 sniper rifle that shoots a 50 cal bullet. I can go stand in public with that and shoot probably uh, four or five or six people in a row with one bullet. If someone's standing in a row and I have a sniper rifle, that bullet will go clean through a few people. No problem. Now... They're going to start banning those, so I guess I have to use something else. I'll go use a shotgun or a handgun or go make an explosive. If, if, if I want to go kill someone or do something bad, I can do it. No one's going to stop me. That's what every criminal is like. But they don't think of that. They think of the gun. They don't think of the person. I mean... uh if someone wants to go kill someone, they will do it some way. They have their own arms, they have knives, they have blunt objects. I mean, most of the reported assaults in the world are not with guns. And even less of them are reported with assault guns. Or what I just call them, rifles. That's all they are to me. They're just called rifles. Very few crimes and assaults are used with these types of guns. Most of them are... Illegal sawed-off shotguns or handguns that people obtained illegally, and they will keep, and they will still have those guns no matter what laws our government proposes and um, uses. They can ban every single gun in the world, but criminals who already have guns, the the government will not know who and who has, um, like who does not have. Or has a gun. Sorry, I was mixing up some of the terms. But anyways, our government will not find criminals with guns until the criminal comes out and does whatever uh, action they want to do. Whatever deed they thought they want to do. But anyways, um, you, you might as well just go ban everything else. Because an assault can be done with your bare arms, a knife, a bat, basically any object... Sorry, guys, my phone's about to die. Basically, any object can be used to go assault someone. Do guns make it easier? Yes, they do. But there are still way more reported crimes without guns. And I don't know why it makes no sense to ban these types of guns. I mean, for me, did I buy this gun to go kill someone? No. Did I buy it for self-defense? No. I bought it because it was a fairly inexpensive rifle... That was semi-auto, and I can have fun shooting it in my backyard. Yes, I have my own personal gun range. It's in a few of my videos. There is nothing behind me. There's just miles of cornfield behind me, so I'm not hurting anybody. 
I only shoot this gun in my backyard gun range, nowhere else. I shoot it for fun. I shoot it for, um, yeah, just, it's just a hobby of mine. Guns are a hobby of mine. I didn't buy a gun for self-defense. There are many other ways to defend yourself without a gun. Now, if a person comes into your home with a gun or on your property with a gun, yeah, then you probably want a gun to overpower them or have an, an equal chance. But anyways, um, they're, they're trying to take away these guns and then take away any magazine that is over 10 rounds capacity, which doesn't make any sense because those magazines have been available for a long time. If people are going to be doing something bad, they're going to buy these guns now. They're going to buy the 100-round the drums right now while they can. So then, I mean, so then they have them when stuff, if it is, they have it when it's banned. But, I mean, that's the thing. There is no way to tell who has these guns or some high-capacity magazine if they got them illegally. I mean, you can go buy tons of magazines and the government does not, they don't even know you bought those things. I can go buy pounds, there. I'm going to show you guys. There's that. I can go buy gas. I can turn that into a bomb. No one knows I bought this fuel. I can go throw it into a building and light it, and it'll explode and kill people. Gunpowder, same thing. I can I can go buy tons of that. Government doesn't know I buy it, and I can use that to uh, assault people. I could chuck that with, with, with a fuse on there or something. Boom! Big explosion. What they need to do is just get smart about stuff. Put a few, maybe a little more regulations on guns. Don't ban them completely. Put a few more regulations on them. I live in Illinois, and um, there's maybe three or four other states that are just as bad as Illinois. California being one of them. Um... I don't know if California is even as bad, but here in Illinois, we have to have a FOID card. It is a firearms owner identification card. So basically, if I, if I have to go buy, if I want to buy a gun, I have to send off a, a um, like one or two forms into the government down in Springfield, Illinois. They, I, they, I'm sure. Uh, Give a quick background check on me because you have to give your personal information to get a FOID card. You can't just go apply for one and do stuff. But anyways, I send a few, a few sheets down to there in Springfield, Illinois. And then one or two months later, I get my FOID card back. They can deny a person a FOID card. If they look at your past and say, oh, it's a criminal, or he has some mental defect, they can stop you from getting a FOID card. That's what a lot of states need to do. Because some states, all you have to do is walk up with your state ID, your driver's license, any kind of identification, walk up, buy a gun that day, and that's it. There are no other um, regulations on most of states in the U.S., I mean, every time I buy a gun, even after I buy my FOID card, I buy the FOID card, I paid for it, they gave a background check when I bought it, they approved me to buy a gun, but every time I buy a gun, I have to pay $5 for a background check, no matter what type of gun it is. So every time I buy a gun, they give a background check. So... It's kind of stupid that they want to ban guns when they need to smarten up and maybe use... Sorry, guys. That's my uh, heater in here. They need to smarten up and maybe make some places a little bit um, harder to get guns. A lot of states, you walk up with your driver's license, you can go buy a gun. You can pick up a gun and buy it. That's a little too easy. Why don't they try putting some regulations in those states first because um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if I have a FOID card or not. I can go find a gun from someone if I wanted to. That's what criminals do. 
they can go um, assault someone or they can go uh, pay someone a ton, a tons of money to buy their gun off them or they can kill them. Something. Criminals will get guns no matter what our government does. So...